Welcome back. We're going to continue our discussion on AI with our professors from the Computing and Mathematics Department. And this segment is going to talk about some of those challenges and concerns that folks have regarding AI. Forbes magazine recently published an article that listed 15 significant risks of AI, starting with lack of transparency, discrimination, and privacy concerns. So I'd like to ask our folks here today, what concerns have you seen and challenges have you seen or experienced yourself with AI? I think one of the greatest challenges, especially for university professors, is uh, growing critical thinking skills in students, um, culturing them and nurturing them. I think that AI is wonderful but especially for these fundamental skills, if we do not nurture students in the right way to think for themselves, mm -hmm. then AI becomes a very easy tool to use and becomes a substitute. And this is the downside of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. Because AI is trained on human text, it will inherit the um, biases of that text um, when it reproduces text itself. And so really, uh, it's a, a mirror of humanity. So it's mm -hmm. not surprising, really, that it would have these biases. Mm -hmm. I think part of the problem also is related to don't be aware your training have bias. And one typical example was to create predictive police and to do predicting where will happen the next killing. And they use historical data. And the problem in the historical data could have information which already have bias. So the prediction have a bias to certain ethnicity. And they were not aware they were doing this. But I think in any kind of training, you always are going to have bias. So you are going to need to have somebody, an expert, try to figure it out how to reduce it. Yeah, ChatGPT was created as a pal, right? So people should use it as a friend and they're chatting with. Okay. That was the idea. So it is really bad in a discussion with a friend if the friend doesn't know the answer, right? Mm -hmm. So this case, um, ChatGPT was programmed to even answer if there is no answer if there is no correct answer. So it makes up answers. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, and then it also makes up references, it makes up laws, it makes up everything if you do not ask the right question, right? Uh -huh. So it's really important to do this kind of prompt engineering right. to um, get the correct or right results, mm -hmm. right? And um, some people, as you said, did train the system in a way they just wanted to see how it reacts. Mm -hmm. I did that, right? Mm -hmm. So we said two plus two is four, this is correct. But then we tried two plus two is five. And after a while, the system adopted it that I taught it to um, that two plus two is five, right? So this way it is today in a situation that it can't do simple calculations, but we need to teach students that they do not rely on that. Yes, yes, very good. Are there copyright issues that could come into play here? I'm thinking about um, music creation. <clears throat> For example, I would think perhaps some form of AI could listen to all the Beatles songs mm -hmm. and sort of create Andy here is from <laughs> Britain, could create music that sounded just like the Beatles, had lyrics similar to the Beatles, but it's not the Beatles. Is, is something like that possible? Yeah, there's several lawsuits actually that are active right now. Um, one of the main artificial intelligence image generators is called Midjourney, and it's uh, been discovered that it was trained on a lot of copyrighted material. And so there's active lawsuits um, against Midjourney. And a lot of artists are upset because they're not getting any royalties. And mm -hmm. it, it can produce art in their style. Right. Uh, the OpenAI is being sued by the New York Times ah. because it, you, it was trained on 
as much text as the people that could get a hold of. And part of that was articles from the you know, New, York New York Times, Times without yeah. permission. Right, right, gotcha, okay. How about the subject of, is AI becoming too powerful? Do we need to worry about that? You know, and how quickly, how fast it's, <clears throat> it's accelerating in society. What, what are the, some of the fears, and I understand some of our audience probably does have some fear of AI. Can you address that? Well, I think the bent of your beliefs, in my belief system, never is gonna be more powerful than God. And this can be seen as a small wrinkle in a big hand. And we are in the hand of God, but sometimes we go on the struggle of this valley. I don't think artificial intelligence will pass human creation because we have power over every single thing we create. So, but we need to be alert, we need to be aware, we need to be trained, we need to be educated, so we can use this technology for beneficial of us. Right. Well, one issue is that it's simulating human intelligence. So when you interact with AI, it can almost appear as another intelligence itself, but really it is not intelligent in the sense as we would attribute to another human. And so a lot of fear is, oh, is this computer, is it thinking, does it have its own agenda? But it doesn't, it's just a, a model. So a lot of those fears about um, Skynet taking over are really unfounded. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. So you don't think in this learning model, Jan, that you talked about, mm -hmm. how it learns, you don't think that it could sort of learn how to want to take over, I guess, or be so autonomous that it would begin to make its own decisions without human intervention? Well, no, there are algorithms created that prevent the system or prohibit the system from doing that, right? Mm -hmm. So um, there are observers that are checking what the output is and then it is taking it away and telling something, this is not appropriate mm -hmm. question or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, okay. um, especially right. with ChatGPT, they learned it in the beginning. So mm -hmm. in the very early versions uh, of ChatGPT, there were bad things possible, right? <laughs> yeah. So, but uh, as you said with God, I think so too. So yeah. um, we cannot be more powerful than our right. Lord. Than God himself and amen, right. amen to that, yeah. So there are certain guardrails that are being put in place with AI technology to try to look for this type of concern and problem. That's good news and good news, I'm sure, for our audience as well. So in the next segment we're gonna hit is on a happier tone, perhaps. That's gonna be all of the great benefits that AI can bring to you, bring to communities, societies at large, things like life-saving drugs and other great opportunities. Mm -hmm. 